Hello everybody and welcome your faces back to your one and only favorite crypto jet. Now, if you enjoy the video, uh, today we're covering Ethereum. Leave a like, smash that subscribe and, and whatever, you know the drill already. So let's get right into it. Today we're talking about ETH and currently we are looking at a price of around $3,700. Now, this is quite a spike uh, in the past two days. We had a long period of consolidation right around here. And uh, I don't remember the last time I did my Ethereum review on this channel, but I was actually looking at the price and uh, it did seem bearish for me at the moment, right? Because we did see a few signs of a bearish, perhaps, uh, continuation. So the first sign was an RSI divergence. So a divergence in the relative strength index, which can be seen, for example, right here, as the price is increasing, the RSI is actually decreasing. You could pull it from here as well because it's a bit more clear that way uh that and the fact that we didn't uh we're yet to see a uh, stronger sort of retracement in the market so what does this mean this means that basically we have not reached the fibonacci levels on any point of the chart so how do we know this we go ahead and go like this you plot it from the bottom to the top did this reach one of the levels no it didn't go to the top again so when the top was created right here did it reach one of the levels? No, it didn't. So naturally, I'm going to be following the price with my Fibonacci retracement tool. Obviously, I have only these four values plotted out because I find them the most significant and I recommend you to do so as well. But usually, if you go into your settings, you can see that there's a lot of a lot of numbers here, right? You can you can add all of these numbers, but for me, they do not provide any sort of significance. So right now, I would be waiting for a retracement once again. So I do have $4,000 as a target. So it's a very strong zone. It's not exactly the all-time high. The all-time high was at this level of around 4.2K, but the 4K dollars uh, point is a very significant one psychologically, and a lot of traders will be looking to take profits at this point. So this whole move, the whole point of why I'm waiting for Ethereum to come back into the FIB levels is for people to actually take profits. And it seems like this has not happened yet. So I would expect a bullish momentum for now until the 4K mark and then another period of consolidation and perhaps some profit taking down into lower uh, prices. Now, are the prices, is it going to go lower, like uh, back into the 2.5K zone? Likely not right away, but just uh, pay attention to what the graph is showing you. Like I did a few days back when I was Reviewing Ethereum before this spike up, it actually looked a little bit more bearish, but I did not enter short positions because I would rather have waited for the price to come to this zone, this zone, for example, and then enter the buy position because obviously I'm expecting more upside in the long term for cryptocurrencies. So shorting the market is never an option for me because the trend is your friend and uh, you should follow it. So currently, Whoever's taking advantage of this move on Ethereum is, uh, that's that's very nice. And let me just point out something that I did a few months back, I think a month and a half back when I uh, reviewed Ethereum, we actually went on the logarithmic chart and we found a amazing uh, buying opportunity. Now, what this opportunity was, was from a large, large uh, trend line from back in the day. Let me just plot it out real quick. So something like this. So we reviewed this and I did point out that this area right here would be a perfect area to buy. And what do you know, we've had a little bit more than a 100% increase since that point. So I hope some of you actually took advantage of this. Uh, likely, actually, none of you did because the channel was still quite small at that point. But I'm going to keep giving you some good, uh, good reviews out here. Keep going to point, keep pointing you in the right direction. And uh, yeah, currently we're still looking a bit more bullish. Pay attention to the 4K mark. And that's about it for today's video. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.